Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Spirit is so proud of you. I feel like this is why I'm like, okay, this looks really good. So what's the issue here? <laughs> no, spirit just wants to pop in and say they're so proud of you. Um, whoever you are, you're, you've made great strides in releasing, letting go of baggage, moving forward, okay? I feel like, um, and whatever you're doing for work, you're being spiritually led. They want you to know you found your path. You're on the right path. They've seen all that you've been through. They've seen all that you're working on, and, and I feel like you're building success, they want you to know, go ahead and take some time for yourself and celebrate. Celebrate um, everything that you've accomplished here. Wow, that is a strong spiritual message. You could have a passed on loved one around you also who's just smiling at you. That I mean, I feel like your ancestors are pleased because it looks to me like you broke some generational curses here. You see how there's a clearing in these clouds because of the work that you put in. I feel like you broke generational curses. You're out here listening to the divine, being divinely led, um, doing everything that they've asked you to do. You could have been led to start a creative project here. That's something that you're very skilled at, okay? Whatever this is, you're very masterful at it. If you're an intuitive, you're absolutely spot on. If you're a spiritualist, you're, you're like helping so many people, raising vibrations. You could be somebody who's doing some kind of physical fitness or dance videos, or you could be an entertainer. You could be a healer. You could be, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're on the right path. Spirits led you on the right path and they are so proud of you collective wow or this is a passed on loved one that's coming through in your reading that could be this too saying that they're proud of you oh boy um i feel like there's someone else though that they want to tell you is trying to copy you if you notice this um, they're trying to copy you and they can't, okay? Maybe you already know somebody's been trying to copy your work or try to be like you and they can't. Um, they're, they're making themselves look like a complete fool, okay? They do. They look like a complete fool with whatever it is that they're doing. It could be a karmic. It could be anyone. It could be someone who's competing with you in your line of work, okay? Um... I feel like they're sort of being watched. This could also be judgment. All right. Yeah, you're, I feel like you're a big success with whatever you're doing. And whoever is trying to copy you is about to, I don't know, they're about to be a big loser. Okay. Um, they're they're going to lose whatever they've accomplished. Uh, things are going to start going backwards for them. Especially if they're in the public eye. Like say you, you have your own platform. Um, you could be a spiritualist, a healer, a teacher, an empath, a tarot card reader, uh, an astrologer, something like that, right? You're actually meant to lead other people. And there's someone here who's like copying your work or trying to steal your work, okay, and make it their own. And they're going to end up losing. They're, they're, um, they're going to start losing their platform. They're going to start, people are going to lose their interest, okay? These are people that are like bored or they'll lose their interest with whoever this is, okay? They may even realize they've been led in the wrong direction misled misled and bored okay so whoever is trying to copy your work two of cups 
Yeah, see, and they're they're really just competing with you. I feel like there's people out there that absolutely love what you're doing. Like you're you're getting the attention of people around the world. So I feel like you're doing something on the internet, right? And people love what you're doing. Two of Cups. And whoever this is competing with you, they absolutely hate it. You know, um, they may be very frustrated because I feel like they're watching you grow. Um, they're watching you get more public attention or be better at what you're doing. You know what I mean? Because this is something that takes a lot of flexibility. It takes a lot of learning. It takes time to master this, right? And I feel like you're you're kind of ever-changing. You know what I mean? You're just growing into your own here. Naturally, okay? Naturally. This is authenticity. But as we grow, we do transform. And I feel like this person over here who's trying to copy you, they can't keep up. They can't keep up. Look at them trying to learn what you're doing. Um, this is a shapeshifter as well. So, um, because see how her thumb is bent backwards, okay? Um, so, yeah, this is somebody who's, like, totally trying to be like you, but they can't keep up with the info. They can't keep up with your knowledge, okay, or your flexibility. All right. So people may be starting to realize they're waking up. This is These are people waking up, okay, and realizing that this other person may have led them um, on the wrong path or they, you know, they were bogus, they were fake. People are starting to realize that now. So you may see some, like, um, people with their own platforms kind of dropping off, okay, Anybody who wasn't being 100% authentic, all right? You may start witnessing um, in your field people fighting within, like amongst each other. See, I've noticed that out here too. I don't understand it. Here's the thing. I, you know, when other tarot card readers go against other tarot card readers out here, other spiritualists, you know, it kind of... You know, it sort of disgusts me in a way because I feel like we're all here to help other people, okay? We're all trying to do the right thing. I don't know. I like to believe in other people. I know, but that's just kind of what I do. And I like to believe that we're all doing the same thing and we all have good intentions and we all like to help others. But when I see other readers out here fighting with each other, people with, with each other, and other people, my first thought is, dudes, we're supposed to be building each other up out here, not trying to tear each other down. So I don't understand it myself, you know, but that's kind of, that's, it, this is sort of what it feels like. There could be, and it, you don't have to be a tarot card reader. You could be like, you could, you could do anything. You could work in an office and you could have somebody who is just competing with you and, you know, trying to talk like you, trying to act like you, trying to steal your ideas, okay? When you're supposed to be on the same flipping team, you know? You know what I'm saying? I feel like there is a person who's resorting to some spell work. Okay, trying to steal your light, trying to take your skills and make them their own, um, copy you, trying to be a success like you. I, I feel like there's just somebody here who wants to have your life. Okay, they want to have your skills. They want to have your ideas. And other people are starting to see this. Okay. And, you know, that's another thing, too. Like, I've noticed that. I'll say things in my readings, and other readers um, will say the exact same thing. And, honestly, I don't know. It's, it's probably just me. I see things differently. I always have. But, to me, I take that not as, like, oh, somebody's trying to steal my ideas. No, I don't take it like that. I take it as a compliment. I take it as a confirmation. 
okay a confirmation if i'm picking up on that energy and someone else is picking up on the same energy in a reading hey man that's a confirmation for me that everything is correct so i i don't i man i just don't understand it but i mean thank goodness you know i'm out here actually like i'll give you guys recommendations for other readers you know um we're here i feel like we need to build each other up instead of instead of fight i don't understand it but yeah see here's the thing when people watch you collective they're watching you like intently okay they're like they're hanging on your every word or whatever it is that you're teaching others or whatever you're putting on the internet right you've got people's full attention you hold their interest. You have something to teach them. You, you know, um, you're, they're resonating with what you're saying. Okay. But when other people watch this karmic, they're bored to tears. Look, there's a total difference. Do you see? And these other people are starting to realize that this other, this karmic individual isn't authentic at all. You know, she's not authentic at all. You're the one with the authenticity. You're the one who resonates with others. You can relate somehow. You know what I mean? You relate with them. They, you keep their interest. You know? I don't know. I just feel like people like you way more than they like whatever the karmic is doing. Okay? <laughs> However you want to look at it. All right? <laughs> And the karmic, I feel like she's getting very angry, okay? She's getting angry. She may be feeling very frustrated, very panicky, but she can't have your life, okay? Yeah, because you are the real flipping deal. You're the real deal. You're authentic. You know, you have a style about you that can't be copied, you know? Um, maybe it's the way you talk, the way you look, or just the energy about you how you carry yourself you know um i don't know i feel like you're this is a this is this is a job right if you, i feel like you're a light worker doing a job for the divine and the divine hand picked you specifically for this part this part right here now that may grow in the future but right now the, the divine wants you to do this job they didn't ask Tom, Dick, or Harry. They didn't ask the karmic or anyone else. The divine is like, look, they give you the messages. This is what we want you to do. You just focus on this. That's your path right now. Okay? So that's what you did. You set to work. You listened and you worked on what they told you to do. Now they didn't call the karmic on this path. They called you to this path. Because you have a skill set. You have some kind of ability or skill or charisma or something that people are going to listen to and they're going to receive the messages better from you. And Spirit wants you to do this thing here. Okay? They didn't ask the karmic to do it. They want you to do it. And so the karmic tries to take that same kind of essence that you have, right? And she tries to put that into her work. And people are like, no, no, it's not the same. You know, kind of like that, right? They're waking up to the fakeness. That's what's happening. People are waking up to the fakeness, you guys. You know, and if you're not the real deal, people can tell. You can tell. Everybody can tell. So whoever is out here copying your work, right, or trying to be like you, man, it's, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse for them. Now, if they're doing any kind of spell work, anything like that, okay, that's going to come back on them. All right, but that's what's happening here. Yeah, but I feel like you have, you have everyone's attention. I mean, look at this. You're some kind of spiritual healer or teacher. You could really be 
any kind of teacher, I feel, um, because you're like the top of your league, right? Something like that. You could be into physical fitness. You could be into healthcare. You could be, in, um, you could be teaching some kind of art or dance or a spiritual teacher or a healer of some type. But people, you have everyone's attention. And this karmic, she's got like no one's attention, really. Really. People are waking up to that crap. They're not, they're not going to deal with fake. No one's going to deal with fake individuals anymore. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> oh, let me get these for you. All right, so let's get your oracles, okay? <laughs> All right, what can you show me, spirit? Yeah, so you may notice somebody trying to copy your work, but just watch, you know. Um, and honestly, like I said, sometimes, like for me personally, when I see, and people can say like word for word what I'm saying in my readings, like for real. But when that happens, it kind of like makes my heart flutter a little bit. I have to be honest, it does. It makes my heart flutter a little I'm very humble, you guys, all right? I'm not fancy schmancy. I'm real humble. And when I see somebody who's, like, got the same message I do, or even if they are saying the same stuff I am, it, it really does give me butterflies because I just take it as such a huge compliment. And I take it as a huge um, confirmation, you know? I take it in a positive way. So you may be doing that too. You may be taking it in a positive way. I don't know. Anyway, that's just me. Okay, so what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Yeah, and that was on the bottom of the deck. You're like, why? You know, you're just doing your own thing, right? You're just doing your own thing. You're minding your own business. You're working on you. You're not messing with anybody. You know, you're not in anybody else's business, right? Um, you're doing what spirit is telling you to do. Why do people, people keep messing with you, you know? Why can't they just focus on their own lives? Why can't they start their own business with their own ideas, right? I mean, this took a lot of work for you to build. It took a lot. You've had to be really flexible. You've had to change a lot in your life. You've had to change your schedule around or, you know, um, really put the extra work in, okay? You know, so I feel like they need to go and put the work in on themselves. You know, so you deserve everything that you, you're getting. I feel like because of the effort you've put in, because you've... Um, You've really stuck, you know, you've kept your focus on the right stuff, okay? Spirit's seen that. All of this hard work is about to pay off. You're about to get the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. I feel like that's everything in one little picture, okay? So that's coming to you. All your effort is paying off, and you're releasing something here and moving on. Taking a new journey, you know what, you could be getting a huge offer. You, you could very well be getting discovered out here for your talents and your skills. Okay, and I feel like for some of you, there may be an offer that's coming in that may even require a house move or something like that. You may have to release a job that you're in now to accept a, like a, a bigger job. Um, so that's for someone. I'm seeing travel and an offer coming in for you in the future. Higher power. I'm telling you, um, spirit seen everything. You're about to get wish, some wish fulfillment. They're guiding you, leading you, and you're very tapped in. This could also be your intuition here. Very, very intuitive. So there's signs all around you, okay? And trust your intuition. If there's an offer that doesn't feel good, don't take it. You know, it's kind of like that, right? But yeah, see, you've been in stagnancy for a while. 
I feel like spirit here in this row, they're telling you that there's some big things coming that you need to be prepared for. But these are all blessings, okay? But these are things that are coming in pretty suddenly. It's, feel, it's felt very stagnant, okay? But now is when you start moving into your new future, okay? So get ready. Yep. Oh, get ready. It's time, collective. It's time. <laughs> So this is when new opportunities comes in, right? New love comes in. Success, possibly a house move. Things are about to get really active for you, okay? Ooh, collective. Anyway, um, that's what I have for this reading. And look at all these threes. Sorry, I'm looking at all of these numbers. I'm looking at, there's a, a closing to a cycle here. Your, your abundance and your offers are almost in, they're almost towards you, right? Um, I'm, you're divinely led. You're definitely on the right path. Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. All right.